that was the trailer for Eldoran. The game looks dope. dope. I actually was yeah. playing this game for hours while we were testing, um, and I got hooked. I love action RPGs and sprite-based games uh, with amazing pixels. We have Yada on the line, and we're going to be playing Eldoran, not Elder Rings. Um, so let's let's make it happen. What's up, Yada? Hey, what's up, guys? How's uh, it going? Yes, nice. I'm so so happy, so exciting, you know. Thank you so much for D the opportunity to, you know, talk about this project and I was watching the the you know the talk and it was nice also to to hear. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm I'm seriously telling you the truth. The game is super fun. Like we were here cuz we were supposed to have you again before before I I caught COVID and I we were like setting everything up and I just kept playing the game every while everyone was like testing the stream and the mechanics feel so good and like just the aspects of leveling your character up are really really fun. So you you've really made something nice. Can you talk uh about, you know, your team where you're at in the world because obviously you're not um in the states and it's interesting yeah, to see yeah. uh and talk to folks globally exactly i mean nice to hear that you guys uh like the the, the experience um you know that's what uh in the industry is about you know the community that the whole everybody can you know can enjoy this this industry yeah i'm from brazil uh, the Salvador is the, the, the state of Bahia. And yeah, I'll do my best with my English. I mean, I can hear better than the understand, but as I'm talking about more about the art stuff, I can, you know, <laughs> I mean, I can do it it's better. I mean, so uh, our team, basically all of us, we are, you know, uh, from different places, of, uh, of course, we are working. Uh, I mean, remotely, like you know, online. Uh, even uh, before the, the this, you know, pandemias things. But yeah, I mean, we are almost um, around six, five or six guys, you know, working on it. We have the director, and, uh, me, and his art guy in animation uh, the guy in sound and two or three guys that are doing the, the code stuff so yeah oh cool what and so what course, role do you play on the team yeah i'm the artist oh okay awesome awesome <laughs> what what can you talk a little bit about the influences um that you've had that help you develop this style of game yeah, of course. Uh, I, th this is my first pixel art ever, you know. Uh, oh, wow. That's I, crazy. Yeah, I came from the advertising uh, industry. I'm an illustrator and a graphic designer. And But I but I, I started to, to, to do some, you know, concept art. Uh, I mean, for my own, by myself. And uh, the director saw my work. On, uh, and on the internet, and, and he he said, yeah, this guy can can give me what I want, but he he have no uh, piece of art uh, job at all. And uh, he called me and said, hey, what about this? Uh, I have this game. I I I see your work and I like it, but you have, you have no piece of art in your in your stuffs. And and he asked me if I want to try, and then I start to you know. Yeah, give me a week, and I Google it, and <laughs> you know, start to, to learn and read and try something, and then we start. This guy, the director, he he is a really talented guy. He have a lot of reference, and he have a you know a good and clear idea about what he wants, and that's why it was possible. He stayed beside me and said, "That's what I want. That's the way. That's the reference." And so uh we could do this so that's my first that's that's watch. super cool <laughs> that's crazy to it's awesome i think that's kind of a the hustle of a lot of indies is if you don't know how to do it you figure out how to do it right and it that's very admirable 
uh, admirable. I, I like muffled that one. Um, that's cool. Can you tell us about and run us through the game, like the story and 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 what Alfonso is doing? Dying. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, this is a Lovecraftian world, basically. <laughs> and of course, we can. The, the, the base of the, the, the structure is the. I mean, this guy is a guy, he's a, he's a mercenarian. I don't know the, the name in, in, in English. But you know, people who work for money, whatever it is. And yeah, this guy have a some contract with a you know uh, you know another girl and maybe a big boys one and it will happen some you know plot twist between the game basically and then you know we got a lot of uh, universe to explore we have a lot of uh, um, how can I say this um, it's all about uh, uh, you know what did he mean in English? Man, um, I, this can go because you know, it's missing a lot of uh, uh, words, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's all good. No, 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 it's all good. It's cool to hear about the world building and, and some of the, the structure and some of the monsters and um, where did some of the ideas for this, I know it's Lovecraftian, but some of the monsters and, and uh, threats you face in the game. Yeah, basically uh, we, we, I mean, we want to give the, to the players uh, some classical structure. Of course, I have, all of us have all those kind of reference, you know, it's kind of monster. I, we are always looking for the, the big one, the, the nice one, you know, uh when we're developing the the director want of of course it, it need to to work on the game as a in a um level design point of view but uh we also want to give to people some classical experience you know classical monster classical um you know creatures but at the same time with some originality you know? so that's the balance we are always looking for. Uh, we have some, I mean, uh, huge ones on this game, and there's some small ones. But uh, I, I can say this always about if it's fixed or not in the mechanic stuff, something like this. And of course, mm -hmm. if you have the mood of Lovecraft, I uh, mean, world, you know, uh, creature, those kind of statics. That's the that's the, the main guide. What? So this is this is your first? Is this your first game? Because you're talking about you were in graphic design and and illustration. Yeah, before, yeah, that's right? my first one in pixel art. I did I did another one, but it's still I mean finishing. But it was more yeah more 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 cartoony uh, kind of fantasy cartoony stylish. The digital painting is more, uh, uh, yeah, but, uh, this one was my first That's pixel cool. art. It was really, really, um, you know, difficult to get in this world, understand how the whole thing is, is you know, is set it, I mean, all those, because I, I, I designed the, the, those sprite, sprite kits, you know, and then the, the developers yeah. start to develop the, the those uh, rooms and then we back and take a look and see it's working and then back again so it's, it's really new process for me but uh, cool. I, I love it what advice really sorry oh no i was just gonna say since you you kind of hustled through this figuring out how to do pixel art and design what kind of advice would you give young developers just trying to get into game development yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll try to a point of view for development. Ah, oh, man, be helpful. I mean, I studied with a guy and uh, he always told this. Uh, nice. Be helpful, right. try your best. Uh, I mean, because in, in the industry, I mean, we're really small teams trying to do our best and 
if you have a lot of skills, it will help you to be in the project and help the project. Né? So, in the development point of view, try to have. Uh, it's not about being generalist. It's about uh, being able to help any kind of project in, in the, the um, many ways. As an artist, man, it's difficult because I mean, gaming is a serious thing, really serious thing. You know? Yeah. And a, a, anything you do, it's it needs a high quality, independent of the style. So as an artist, you must have uh, the ability to keep the quality and the structure. I had to design all those creatures, environments, uh, props, and everything. Uh, I need to keep the level and the, the, the style. It's not easy. So as an artist, yeah, be prepared to, uh, you know, a really uh, <laughs> <laughs> a high challenge. You got to hustle. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah. yeah, I was uh, I was also going to ask, like, it, it's crazy. It's kind of like for this journey on black voicing in uh, gaming today, we went around the world pretty much. John is in uh, Japan. We had um, someone in Montreal. We had another developer in Germany, Dez, who's, in, who's been all over the world. Can you talk a little bit about the development scene in Brazil? Like, how is the camaraderie and how how does it play out? Yeah, I, I mean, we well, everybody know that we have been some problem with our government, and they took off a lot of investments in you know cultural and, and you know uh, those kind of stuffs, and it compromised uh, this industry here right now. But we were kind of start to develop some good things. I believe here in Brazil because of uh, because it's so mixture, and we have a, a lot of uh, talent guys here. You know, uh, I always think that you, you come from a, a, a country or a city or a I mean a structure with no too much money. It it invites you all the time to be more creative. If not, you can do nothing. So I believe that we always have a, a potential, but we are still you know, uh, working hard to start to, to develop some uh, name or position in this industry. But yeah, oh, I mean, with the internet today, the whole world is just one, so it's so easy to um, you know, to study, to look for reference, you know. Uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, today, today we are really optimistic, and I, I believe that, yeah, somehow, in some way, we'll do our, you know, we'll have our, our, our identity also, you know, on in this industry, maybe. Yeah, for sure. What are the? What do you think the most popular games are in in Brazil right now that that folks play? Ah, good point. Uh, I mean, in the I mean, let's talk about the, the those AAA, the Elder Rings. Yes, that's, that's, that's everybody. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I believe we here in Brazil, uh, the, 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 the type of players, they more about um, uh, casual, you know, the hyper casual players. And, uh, the, the, of course, the, 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 this community in, in of uh, gamers, yeah, of course, this exists, but I believe. We we really like football games, football yeah games like soccer, mm -hmm. and but I believe today in the, in the, in the any place Elder Ring is something that everybody's talking about. Yeah, that's that's cool. I was it's, it was kind of hilarious because before and I knew Elder Ring was coming out, but then when I when we were playing today and it was like Elderan, it's like so close to Eldering. I'm wondering if you guys are gonna 
thinking about possibly changing the name last minute or are you gonna kind of like utilize that to your advantage <laughs> like to yeah, your advantage I have saw, you guys talked about good, that yeah good good point uh i saw um, um uh kind of gif like mimi 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 i don't know the, the name in english but you know there's this kind of joke with image that's what uh, amazing there was a guy and they took the logo and said elder and that little hot doo -doo 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 -doo. and then uh and the rand and then they got to say what and they saw the, the heart stop to to, to beat it and say elder ring it was a kind of joke with with this i believe oh that i get it good. someone like made a yeah someone made like a little meme that's that's hilarious yeah because yeah, yeah, i can yeah, see because yeah, yeah. i that's funny because I could see people like basically talking stuff about it, and be like, "Oh yeah, these are they, they're trying to like use the name," and you're like, "No, man, we've been working on this for like four years." <laughs> <laughs> you know? Exactly. Um, that that's the point. I think we 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 have the name first because we have more than seven years designed this. Seven the years? Name. Wow! Yeah. I that's did not realize crazy. that. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 Uh, is it already on on the Steam? It's already there, the, you know. The, the, so, and the, our director, he, this guy is really good with names. So, he knew this name it would work in in you know, elder, older, and land. Come on, this is not. And, and we are surprised. And we Mike are, drops, and we are, huh? No. Yeah, and we are surprised. Oh. Why doesn't anybody use this name? It's so so unique. And she was it was able, you know, she was there. So so the, he just used it. So Eldering, come on, I don't know. Maybe they caught us. Yeah. That's hilarious, yo. Yeah, that's funny. But um <laughs> Yeah, so where can we find out more about uh Eldoran and your team and do you have any more like um insight on when you're gonna be releasing? The game is dope. Yeah, yeah. We are already, we are already in the uh, Steam, so guys, please go there and wish list is wish list and you, you know uh, we already have a, a website uh, elderrain.com and of course Facebook, Twitter, and those in the community Discord. Uh, yeah, head it maybe yeah. For sure. Well, thank you so much, Yada, for joining us. We hope to talk to you soon again, and and please feel to reach, feel free to reach out. We would love to work with you on other stuff. Yeah, man. Thanks so much. Thank, thank you, you. guys, for, for the opportunity again. So, yeah.